2025 finally gave iPhone users the freedom Android gamers had for years. With Apple allowing emulators, the App Store became a retro gaming hub, turning iPhones and iPads into mini consoles running everything from Switch and PlayStation to GameCube and classic arcades. Right from the start, Delta lit the spark by bringing back Nintendo classics like Pokemon, Mario, and Zelda with smooth performance. It emulates Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Nintendo 64, and SNES games. Its intuitive interface, cloud-safe support, controller compatibility, and cheat code options make it beginner-friendly. Players can also organize games by system, making it easy to find titles quickly. You can download Delta officially on the App Store. Then we got the legendary PPSSPP, which basically turned iPhones into a portable PSP, allowing games like God of War, Chains of Olympus, Monster Hunter, and Luminies to run with upgraded graphics. It emulates PSP games with HD upscaling, frame skipping, customizable controls, save and load states, and controller support. While advanced users can tweak shaders and textures, available on the official PPSSPP website and App Store, the all-in-one emulator, RetroArch acts as a one-stop emulation hub, supporting systems from NES and SNES to Sega Genesis, PlayStation, and beyond. It's hyped for its ability to run multiple systems in a single app with customizable shaders, filters, layouts, and even multiplayer options. Beginners can start with default settings, while enthusiasts can explore advanced features like custom overlays and input remapping. RetroArch can be downloaded directly from App Store. To relive the 90s and beyond, Folium brought Nintendo 3DS games to iPhone and iPad, running smoothly with a modern interface. Beginners can enjoy 3D Pokemon titles, Mario Kart 7 and Zelda, Ocarina of Time 3D with minimal setup. It emulates the 3DS fully, including touchscreen support and gyro controls, and promises more systems in the future. Folium is available via the developer's official site or community links. Now going back to childhood classics, same Boy focuses on Game Boy and Game Boy Color emulation, offering unmatched accuracy with perfect audio, color palette fidelity, and pixel-perfect scaling. Beginners can easily replay classics like Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow, and Zelda, Oracle of Ages. Save states, cheat codes, and customizable controls make it very beginner-friendly, available on GitHub and iOS emulator repositories. Another multi-emulator, Provenance is an all-in-one retro hub, supporting NES, SNES, Sega Genesis, PlayStation, and more. It allows players to manage games, use controllers, apply cheat codes, and customize themes. Beginners can enjoy the clean interface while experimenting with multiple consoles without switching apps. It's downloadable from the Provenance official website or trusted emulator stores. For GameCube and Wii, Dolphin brought Nintendo GameCube and Wii games like Super Smash Bros. Melee and Mario Kart Wii to iOS with enhanced resolution and modern controller support. It emulates consoles at near PC level quality, including widescreen support, anti-aliasing, and frame rate enhancements. Beginners should begin with lighter GameCube titles before moving to demanding Wii games to balance performance, available from the Dolphin official site or community builds. IGBA emphasizes simplicity for Game Boy Advance gaming. It launches quickly, runs smoothly, and keeps a minimal interface for beginners. It supports save, josh load states, cheat codes, and external controllers, perfect for casual players who want straightforward gameplay without extra settings. IGBA can be downloaded from its official page or emulator app stores. Multi-system emulator Manic EMU supports PS1, Dreamcast, Genesis, Mega Drive, and more, with controller support, cheats, retro achievements, hardcore mode, multi-disc support, and gyro fixes. It's beginner-friendly with a clean interface and smooth performance, while recent updates added Dreamcast, Genesis, and better 3DS support. Available through its official site or community forums, it's a solid all-in-one emulator for both new and advanced users. MAME 4 iOS will emulate classic arcade cabinets, bringing back games like Street Fighter II, Metal Slug, and Pac-Man. It supports original sound effects, customizable controls, and a wide library of coin-op titles. Beginners can enjoy iconic arcade action without hardware limitations. The app is awaiting App Store approval, but can be followed through the official MAME4 iOS site. Next up is my personal favorite, Mellow NX, is a Nintendo Switch emulator gaining hype for smooth UI, growing compatibility, and promising performance. 
It allows players to run popular Switch games like Breath of the Wild, Mario Odyssey, and Animal Crossing on iPhone. Beginners can use default settings for a balance of performance and visuals. Mellow NX can be downloaded via the developer's site or emulation communities, showing that full Switch gaming on iPhone is now possible. Which emulator are you most excited to try on your iPhone or iPad Delta for classic Nintendo, PPSSPP for HD PSP, RetroArch for its massive library, or the Switch-ready Mellow NX? Drop your pick in the comments. See you in the next one.